Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Listen Doctor Radio, and I am your host of the show, The Listen Doctor. What's good, everybody? This is my annual show of the night, of uh, Friday night, and we have some bad news coming out of Chicago. Ladies and gentlemen, no, D Rose did not break his ankle anymore because he's not in Chicago anymore. Cheek plug, cheek plug, but. This is some serious shit right here. I had to make you guys laugh because I hope I did make you laugh with that. If I didn't, oh well, it made me laugh. But I wanted to make you guys laugh because the story that I'm talking about is very depressing. It's very hard to look at. It's very hard to watch. Um, the story that I'm bringing you guys is a multiple of stories coming from out of Chicago. And a little girl at the age of six years old, is in a hospital. Why she's in a hospital? If you know Chicago, you know why she's in a hospital. She has been shot, and she is in the hospital right now trying to pull through. She's a very resilient little girl. She's very strong. She's very uh, brave. But I want you guys to watch the video. It's two videos. I want you guys to watch the news story. And I want you guys to watch the guy who videotaped what happened earlier when this happened. And then I want you guys to kind of see why a lot of people hate us as black people. And then I want you guys to see why a lot of people don't respect us as black people. And I want to take up for the police chief or whoever this guy was who said what he said, but I also want to say he wrong from saying what he said. They should be modern day, modern day terrorists for what they did. And you're going to see why. Why these bitch ass niggas who can't fight, who all they want to do is grab a fucking gun, these bitch ass niggas who don't want to talk shit out anymore, but just want to shoot somebody. And they can't even fucking shoot. Why they can't shoot? Because they're not going to the proper fucking place to go find out how to shoot. They're not going to the gun range. They're not going to get their gun license. They're getting illegal guns. And they're shooting innocent fucking standby people. Mainly little kids. Watch the story. You can have a problem with what I say. You should have a problem with these bitch ass niggas did. Watch the story. Tell me how you feel about it. I'm using my motherfucking selfie stick. I'm getting fancy. <laughs> selfie stick to show you the story. So y'all check this out. Hold on one second. I'm Bob Dole and I approve this message. If you've got someone who's afraid to release his tax returns, I think that's a big problem. Brad Schneider doesn't think so. Schneider refuses to release his household tax returns to the public. I'm going to release my taxes for you. Right, so we'll take that as a no. You can take that however you want. It's wrong, and it's fishy. After five years and counting, Schneider's still hiding his household tax returns. Brad Schneider, dodgy and dishonest, a politician we can't trust. New here at 10, tonight's plea by the mother of a six-year-old girl who was shot while playing outside of her home. Takara Morgan's mom wants to know who shot her baby. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Hom joining us live from Comer Children's Hospital. That's where Takara's recovering. Eric? Alan Takara's mother says her daughter is awake and talking, but it will likely be several more days before she's released. Tonight in her neighborhood, there was a call for action. Tonight, residents in West Englewood poured into the street, outraged by the shooting of six-year-old Takara Morgan. If we don't get organized, there is another child that will get shot. This gathering a few yards from the bullet-riddled porch where Takara was shot in the stomach yesterday afternoon. 
the soon-to-be first grader, caught in the middle of a gang shootout that left more than 40 shell casings on and around her block. We ran. I didn't even know my daughter was shot. That's how strong she was. She ran in the house. Only thing she said, my stomach hurt. Investigators have video from a police pod camera at the scene. But tonight, an appeal for tips from the public. The community got a bigger job than the Chicago Police Department. You got a job to serve your community and protect your kids. I want people to know if you know anything, please come forward and tell who shot my baby because my baby didn't deserve this. Takara, one of at least 19 children under the age of 10, to be shot in Chicago since the first of the year. This beautiful child, shot in the stomach, because a bunch of thugs are shooting at a bunch of other thugs. Takara's mother says her daughter is resilient. When her breathing tube was removed this morning, her first words were, Mom, I'm ready to go home. Live at Comer Children's Hospital, Eric Hong, 867 Eyewitness News. All right, Eric, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say what that guy wanted to say. A bunch of bitch-ass niggas shooting at another bunch of bitch-ass niggas. That's what that guy wanted to say, but he had to be respectful. A lot of people get mad because he called them thugs. No, they are worse than thugs. They are modern day terrorists. If we can call someone who can shoot up a gay club a terrorist, my tour, if we can call, I'm sorry about that, y'all. If we can call, that's shit crazy. If we can call, <laughs> sorry, if we can call somebody who shoots up a gay club a tourist, a terrorist, we should be able to call these dogs, as he put it, terrorists. They are modern day terrorists shooting fucking innocent kids. I don't care what way you cut it. I don't care if you go this way, if you go that way, if you take it this way. It's modern day fucking terrorists. <clears throat> One thing, the community talking about we need to stand up and this and this. Okay, they came out for this. Like they come out for every other fucking baby that gets shot or dies. They come out, but guess what? It's... Then it's been three fucking days and nobody has even said anything about it. The people who was out there that was running haven't even said anything. They had a guy who had to be brave enough on his birthday to record the shit that happened. That I'm about to show you now. It's kind of emotional shit. I'm not going to show you the whole video because it's really too emotional. And I really don't want to fucking watch it over again. But I'm going to show you guys half of it. You let me know how you feel. And then... At the bottom of this video, you can tell me how you feel. You can tell me how if I went the wrong way or nothing like that. If I went too far, if I didn't go in on them a lot, if I took it easy on them, let me know. But I'm gonna say something before I show you the video. It's graphic. It's very emotional. If you got kids, move them away. Um, if you love people, if you have a love for anyone, this is gonna hurt you so much, especially if you have a little girl, because this could have been your little girl. And I'm asking the community. Fuck it, I'm demanding the community of Chicago to ban against these bitch-ass niggas. We need to start standing up and taking back our own communities. Stop waiting for the cops to do it. They only can do so much. They need our help. We need to take back our community. Until we take back our community, this shit is going to keep happening. And in Chicago, Obama has not went back there yet. Obama has not put a press conference out from, his, from, from the White House saying anything about it. He won't. He does not give a fuck. And as black people, we need to stop saying, oh, maybe it's just Obama, he just don't want to. Oh, he got out of his plate. No, he fucking don't. He's getting ready to get out of the White House. He doesn't give a fuck, really. He hasn't really gave a fuck since he's been in the White House. When did he ever say something about Black Lives Matters? Mm, I'll wait. All he did say was... Uh, Black Lives Matter. No, bitch, you didn't come and say no. What you really need to say? Look, I'm tired of my motherfucking black men getting killed. I'm tired of my motherfucking black young ladies getting killed. You didn't have to say it that way, but you could have stood up for your fucking black people. What's something that you didn't do? We elected you and you didn't do shit. But give us health care. You can like him, dislike him, or well, I don't give a fuck. I voted for the man. But all I'm saying is, real is real and fake is fake. You want to stand by Obama because he's black? Go ahead. Not me. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what my mama say. I don't care what my sister say. I don't care what my auntie say. Y'all can like him. I don't. That's just me. You can like him. I don't give a fuck. 
You can say, Jermaine, what do you do for your community? What are you doing? What I'm doing, I'm doing motherfucking videos to show people, look, we can go another way. We don't have to stay in the same fucking places that we've been staying in. We don't have to stay in the ghetto just because they want us to stay in the ghetto. Just because they set, they set us up to stay in the ghetto. You can get the fuck out and do something with yourself. You don't have to just be working at fucking McDonald's for the rest of your life. You can get a job working for something else to become a manager, become an owner, become a fucking producer. Do something instead of staying the same, quote, 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 same fucking places. Watch the video. Tell me how you feel about it. Here we go. I got to find the people. Give me one minute. All right, this video that I'm showing you is from the guy who recorded this in the beginning of all this happening. He recorded it. He was the one out there on his birthday that recorded this video and it got played. Here we go. If it wasn't for this guy, I appreciate him from doing it. If it wasn't for this guy, it would be like it is. The shot is fucking. Man, these niggas done fuck my birthday up already, man. They come through doing all this shit, man. The shot is fucking baby. Yeah, fucking stomach, man. This is shit I got to deal with, man, when you come through the hood, man. This is shit we got to deal with around here, man. This is the type of shit we're dealing with around here every day, man. These niggas is dumb as fuck, man. These niggas is sensitive as hell, man. Come through trying to do all this fucking shit, man. This is the fuck y'all do, man. Y'all hit. Only motherfuckers hit us if motherfuckers you ain't trying to shoot at, man. This shit crazy as fuck, man. Y'all done hit this little girl, man. These niggas some hoes, man. Y'all know the fuck y'all is, man. Y'all know the fuck y'all is. I got in and 
this shit, y'all. This shit too sad. This shit got me pissed off, man. Just want to show y'all what go down in the neighborhood, man. When you try to come out and enjoy a beautiful shit ain't day. Shit ain't gonna get no more, man. My fucking ball is bullshit. This shit won't rap. You don't play crazy. This, this what happen when you try to come out and enjoy your birthday, man. You can't even enjoy it because niggas don't let you, man. Jump out two cars deep, man. Three niggas shoot, man. Y'all don't hear one person a little girl, man. Come on, man. You niggas scared, man. Come get your man if that's what you feel like you need to do. Man. I'm dirty as fuck, man. Niggas are shot at me and the guys. Don't hit nobody but the little girl. I ain't. This one don't come to the neighborhood, man. This is exact reason I don't come to the neighborhood. Another innocent kid hit, y'all. That's what Chicago that came down to. I gotta end it. That's what it come down to. Because it's too long. All right, ladies and gentlemen. You hear what the guy say? Chicago has came down to being a state of bitch-ass niggas getting ready to kill other bitch-ass niggas. They cannot fight because they are bitch ass niggas. And it's very hard for me because I did so many stories on this and they wonder why people ask me when I tell people I moved from New Orleans. Why would you move from New Orleans, Jermaine? Why would you move from New Orleans? New Orleans always violent. Did you hear what you fucking say? New Orleans is always violent. Why would I stay in a violent fucking city that's always violent to get killed? That makes no sense. But black people, other black people who want you to feel like you got to stick with them or you got to stay with them or you got to be around them, say, Jermaine, why would you leave? Why would you leave your city? Every other city is violent. Guess what? The city that I'm in, I only heard of fucking two shootings that was not even in game related right out here in Lafayette. Maybe, just maybe these fucking people out here, they do some dirt. Yeah, Lafayette's on no fucking happy days. No, but guess what? It's way better than New Orleans. I ain't talking about New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans. But we have to stop being hypocritical and saying, look, oh, New Orleans is the shit. No, it's a debt trap. Motherfuckers who were famous got the fuck. BG, NGO, because he didn't get the fuck. Lil Wayne got the fuck. Birdman got the fuck. Master B got the fuck. Everybody. Get the fuck. So you need to stop that bullshit. So when y'all come to me talking about, or oh, you should have stayed, why to get killed, to get robbed, to get shot at? For what? So you, so y'all can say, oh, Jermaine kept it real. He stayed in the city. No, no. And I want to see if Obama can get this. Anybody who knows him, anybody who fucking know him personally, or have him on a Facebook page or anything, send him this video. I'm calling you out, Obama. Me, I ain't calling you out. I'm saying it to your motherfucking face. You are a, until you, I don't give a fuck about being disrespectful or not. Until you say something about Chicago, in my eyes, you are a fucking flunky. And I don't give a fuck what nobody in, the, in on this Facebook, anybody say about me. Oh, you shouldn't say that about Obama. Obama, this happened three days ago. Today in Germany, three, five, six cops got shot, and that's not even in the United States. And you went on fucking TV saying something about it. In your hometown, a nine year old gets shot in the stomach, is in a hospital trying to live, suffering from a fucking bullet in her stomach. You didn't even have that decent enough to say anything about it. It didn't even, it didn't even get to you. And even um, getting your fucking daily news. And I know you have to have seen it. I know you have had. You had to have seen it. But you don't care. Fucking fly them came to my house. You don't care. It's pissing me off. That this 
eight-year-old, nine-year-old, ten-year-old, these young babies are dying by the hands of bitch-ass niggas that can't not motherfucking fight. All they want to listen to is Chief Keith, bitch ass. All they want to listen to is Young Guy, bitch ass. All they want to listen to is, uh, what's his name? Um, there's a nigga in there that just came home. Uh, Gucci Man. And all this other stupid shit. This is all you bitches want to listen to. This is brainwashing you dumbass niggas. None of you niggas can have money like them. None of you niggas can have serious money like them. Because you're killing each other. For money. For what? A color? A color? I'm so glad a older cat took me under his wing and taught me about this motherfucking red rat. I'm so glad that a older cat took me under his wing and taught me about Prahu and told me what blood really means. It means brothers leading others out of danger. Not what these bitch ass niggas wanted to mean. You gotta be, you gotta be hard, nigga. You rapping red, nigga. You on the wrong side with that blue, my nigga. You are a dumbass, nigga. Cause you killing each other, you bitch ass niggas. But nobody saying Black Lives Matters. I didn't hear nobody in this fucking little thing saying Black Lives Matters. Black Lives Matter. You hooping and howling behind some stupid shit. But you should be hooping and hiding behind this. A little girl getting killed. I ain't saying that man who died early stealing was stupid. That's not no. I'm not saying that. So don't switch my words up. What I'm saying is we pick out old battles to deal with. This is too uh, black people. Uh, this is too much. Just because another black guy killed me. It's too much. Uh, uh, it's too much. I am sick of doing stories like this. I know you guys probably saying, if you stick us doing stories like this, why you keep doing stories like this? Because somebody has to tell them from a standpoint of view of mine, a real ass person. I ain't gonna say nigga. You was looking for me to say that. A real ass person, a real ass man who has different views, who not afraid of standing up for what's right. And that's not afraid of standing up for the people who need to be stood up for. And I'm not afraid of saying something that might be PC unright, politically correct. I'm not afraid of saying something and getting called all kind of names. You can call me any kind of name you want. Call me the name that, if you call me bitch ass nigga, coon, hater, you hate your own people. What do you think these people who shot at a little girl do? What you think these bitch ass niggas do? What you think these bitch ass niggas are doing right now as this shit was on the news? They high five. They not afraid. They not mad. They not fucking saying, damn, you know, they, they probably saying we should have shot some more people. They probably fucked up. If I was a gang leader, I would kill every nigga who was out there shooting. You shot a little girl? You didn't even kill a nigga that we wanted to kill? Now that nigga know we coming for him? Now he gonna come get us? The game is fucked up. Y'all niggas really fucked the game up. I went too long on this video, but I, I'm glad I did. I don't give a fuck. You watch it do the whole fucking set. You watch part of it. Oh, well, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if they get one view, two views, no views. I put it out here for the world to see that I'm tired of these bitch ass niggas. We need to stand up. We need to start fighting back. And until that day come... I don't want to hear no Black Lives Matters. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit until black people really show that the shit matters. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear any. I don't want to hear any fucking protesting. I don't want to hear it. These why these white people do what they do to us because they know, in a shadow of a doubt, we do not give a fuck about each other, and they know that. And this is not the only case. They got Chicago police officers right now being targeted being targeted, being shot by guess what? Some other bitch ass niggas in Chicago. They just shot five police officers cars up since yesterday. I mean since the other day. Five different cop cars. Another 
another eight-year-old got shot this morning on her way to summer school. Got shot in the leg. I'm going to do that story tomorrow. It is crazy. These bitch-ass niggas are terrorists. Start standing up. You can have a problem with what I said. If you have a problem with what I said, have a problem with these bitch-ass niggas there. I'm going relax. Our cable is finally on. I'm so happy. We got cable now. I'm going to try to go watch something if my wife not watching nothing. Um, I got to edit these fucking videos. I'm going to edit these videos after I edit these videos. We'll catch up on some shows, but I got to get up early in the morning. So, um, please feel free to like, share, comment, all that good shit. Uh, go to my GoFundMes. Uh, donate if you can, if you want. If you can't, I understand. If you can, cool. Um, please support your boy. Support the movement. Um, if you have a problem with what I'm saying, call me out on it. Call me what I'm. Call me about what I'm wrong on. Put it in the description box. I'm not gonna cuss you out. I'm not gonna block you. I'm not gonna get mad. Tell me what I'm wrong on. Tell me if I'm wrong on calling them bitch ass niggas. Tell me if I'm wrong on calling them terrorists. And tell me. What I should do. Give me some examples. What, we, what can we do to stop this fucking foolishness? That's all I want. Give me what can we do. How can we stop it? And what's the solution? And so you guys can give me some solutions. We just talking out our asshole. What can we do to stop the madness? Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. This is the Listen Out the Radio. I have a great night.